In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie three types of bowline. The bowline may be one of the most important knots. It's definitely in top three or four that you should know. And I'm going to show you three different ways to tie them. One is the simple way. One is a bowline on a bite, so midway through a rope. And then the last way is a self-tied bowline, which you can tie with one hand around yourself. The reason the bowline here is so incredibly important is that you can tie a loop and a rope that will not tighten on itself and it won't come undone once pressure has been put on it, so once a load has been put on it. The one thing you do have to be careful about is that if it's constantly under pressure, not, under pressure, not, this thing could kind of work itself loose. Look at this. And then the whole thing just falls apart. <laughs> Actually, I think I could, well, there we go. The whole thing fell apart. So let's go through each of the three ways that I like to learn how to do the bowline. Now almost always you're gonna be tying around something and this could be um, a grommet, uh, you know, so a hole here, this could be a log or something. So let's just use this for demonstration purposes. You have right here your leading end and then this is your standing end. So this is tied back to something else. We'll just drop it off the table so we don't get confused. Tie this as many times as you can in the same way so you learn it once that way and then learn variations just in case you have to. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this rope and we're gonna twist it like so. And notice how when it's coming around the object, this line right here is on the top and the standing edge is under, under the bottom and actually kind of forms something like so. Now the reason this is important is everybody learns it like this. The rabbit comes up the hole, out of the hole, around the tree, and then back down the hole like so. And that is your bowline. It's real simple. And now notice this working end here can either be on this side, or if you choose to go around the tree the other way, that it can actually be on the inside. Now the inside is the preferred way for, to tie this, just so that this line doesn't catch on the outside. But it doesn't really matter from a strength perspective which way you tie it, okay? All right, if you need to see that again, pause, rewind. I'm gonna go on to a bowlin on a bite. Now what that means is essentially you're, say, say both of these ends of the rope are tied to something, you just wanna tie a really good knot in the middle to something else, okay? So you'll take a bite of the rope. That would be like this. This is a bite on the rope. And then we're gonna tie the knot. So let's lay it here on the table and we're gonna loop it around like so. And I'm just gonna keep this real nice and neat. And then we're gonna loop this end through, just like this. But this end right here is what's gonna end up being the bowl end. So what we need to do though is we need to take this rope here and loop it up and around all the way over. And then we'll just ever so gently pull the whole thing tight. <clears throat> and that right there just looks like the other one we tied with the loops going over. This is your bowline on a bite and you could clip that into something and now you have a secured loop. In fact, you have two secured loops, but you have to be careful not to tie only one of them off. So there's a bowline on a bite. All right, now let's do the last form of bowline, which is my favorite kind, which is because it's the very first one I learned, and that is the self-tie bowline. This is one I did a few years back. All you'd basically do is hold it in your hand, spin it around, tie the bowline like that. Ooh, and then they can pull you up a cliff. The reason this is this would be important is say someone sends you down a rope, right? They send you down a rope and they say, we need you to tie something off to it real quick, right? Maybe yourself. So you would loop it around yourself and you wouldn't tie other knots like this because it would kill you. This is your working end. You've looped it around yourself. You're gonna reach back towards yourself. Actually give yourself a little bit of leeway here. You're gonna grab that rope you're gonna spin it towards you, and that throws this end up and around. Now, if you can manage, you could throw that and catch it yourself and pull it back through, but essentially that's, that's what you do, and you pull it tight. Now, again, be real careful with this, because if it's under load and then out of load, and under load and out of load, this end here can work itself free, 
So let me show you real quick how to tie a stopper on this bowline. You would do a double overhand knot uh, where you go, say like this, um, once, twice, and then you would just thread it back through on itself like so. So that right there is kind of a stopper and it would keep that bowline from working this leading edge out. I hope you enjoyed that video about the Boland. Great knot to tie at the end to form a loop that won't tighten in on itself and can be easily undone. All right, we'll see you in the next knot video.